Hello, my name is Amy Herring, and I'm Professor and Director of Undergraduate Studies in Statistical Science. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about some of the advanced course offerings we have on tap for the Spring 2021 semester. General principles guiding all our undergrad courses are that they will be primarily online, we will have generous opportunities for direct online interaction with TAs and professors. We will be strongly encouraging synchronous attendance, but we understand that's not possible for everyone and asynchronous participation will be fully accommodated. If for some reason you have slow internet, you might want to be sure you've got our studio downloaded and working well on your laptop before classes start. And if you're considering a course for transfer, please go to the website under the Undergraduate Studies tab and complete our web form first. Many courses elsewhere lack sufficient coverage of topics or of computing, but in general, we can often find good upper-level courses for students to transfer back. The one course we're offering in the spring in a hybrid format currently planned is STAT 323, Statistical Computing. This is one of the most popular courses in our major. And every year in senior exit interviews, I get the following question. Why is this course not part of the core requirements? It was the most helpful academic experience for my job search. This course gives you a practical introduction to statistical programming, focusing on R. You'll engage with programming challenges inherent in various stages of modern analysis, including everything from data collection, aggregation, and cleaning, to visualization and exploratory analysis, to model building and evaluation. The emphasis is on modern approaches, best practices for programming, including source control, collaborative coding, literate and reproducible programming, and distributed and multi-core computing. Students in my STAT 440 case studies class, our senior capstone, always say they wish they'd had STAT 323 if they take the course without it. Prerequisites for this course are Statistical Science 210 and Probability Theory. My name is Sean Santo, and I'm teaching STA 323 Statistical Computing with lectures held 10.15 to 11.30 a.m. on Wednesdays and Fridays, and lab on Mondays also 10.15 to 11.30 a.m. This course delves deep into the R programming language, where you will learn about the different data structures, functional programming, and object-oriented programming. After covering the foundations of R and the core of Tidyverse, we'll introduce a series of niche topics, including web scraping and web APIs, R Shiny for web application development, relational and non-relational databases, and parallel and distributed computing. Throughout the course, we'll be following best practices for reproducibility by using R Markdown, version control with Git and GitHub, and Make, a build automation software. Lecture will be offered in a hybrid format. You may choose to attend in person or synchronously online. Labs will be offered exclusively online in a synchronous format. Both the lecture and lab components will be recorded. Whether you choose to be in person or online, I encourage you to participate and interact with myself, the teaching assistants, and the other students in the class. The course will include weekly lab work, periodic homework assignments, take-home exams, and a final project. I know that there are challenges with taking an online course. I've taken them as a student, and I've taught them many times as a professor. To accommodate different time zones, office hours will be available throughout the day. In choosing teams for group work, teams will be created to ensure students are in similar time zones and have a variety of backgrounds and experiences. I've designed the course to help you learn and gain practical experience regardless of where you are at. I look forward to seeing you in the spring. The next course we're offering is a core course, STAT 360, Bayesian Inference and Modern Statistical Methods. This course is one of the key components of our undergraduate curriculum. It covers Bayesian inference, the ideas of prior and posterior distributions, goes into multi-level modeling, model checking and model selection, and stochastic simulation using MCMC. Professor Mack gets really rave reviews for teaching this course. You can see a quote from one of his recent teaching evaluations the last time he taught STAT 360. In order to take this course, you need to have the major prerequisites out of the way. So uh, you need to be done with multivariable calculus. Linear algebra is a co-requisite. You need to be done with a computer science requirement. And in statistical science, you need to have completed regression and probability. 
The next core course we're offering is STAT 432, Theory and Methods of Statistical Learning and Inference. Now, Professor Zhu gets great evaluations for this course. You can see one uh, from when he taught STAT 250, which was an earlier version of the course STAT 432. This course has recently been revamped and designed with the idea that we'd really like for you to take it a little bit later in the curriculum. However, you can take this course just as soon as you've completed probability theory. We also recommend that you've had regression, STAT 360, and linear algebra before you tackle it. This course will cover estimators and their properties, loss functions, Fisher information, asymptotic properties, and distributions of estimators, exponential families, point interval estimation, the delta method, the name and Pearson lemma, likelihood ratio tests, multiple testing, design and analysis of variance, also known as ANOVA, and then some more modern topics, including high dimensional data, regularization and sparsity, penalty and prior formulations, model selection, resampling, PCA, and mixture models. The other core course we're offering in the spring for the very first time, offering twice a year, is SAT 440, Case Studies in the Practice of Statistics. In this senior capstone, students apply statistical analysis skills to in-depth data analysis projects, ranging across diverse application areas, including, but not limited, to energy, environmental sustainability, global health, information and culture, brain science, and social networks. Students practice cutting-edge statistical methods and communicate their results both technically and non-technically via presentations and written reports. The prerequisite for this course is STAT 360. It's taught in the spring by Dr. Yue Zhang, who was the founding president of the Statistical Science Majors Union when he was an undergraduate at Duke. STAT 470, Introduction to Statistical Consulting, immerses students in real-world consulting and gives you a great view of all aspects of research, including the data collection, modeling, pipelines, and the evaluation of results. Through a campus-wide consulting program, students work with researchers from various disciplines in real time, providing recommendations for statistical methodologies appropriate for their research. This is a great course for getting hands-on experience with statistical concepts and is one of the smaller courses in the major. You can take this course as soon as you've completed Statistical Science 360. For spring 2021, we'll have one special topics course open to undergraduates. This course is being developed by Professor Becca Stortz, who's currently teaching STAT 360. It'll cover the very interesting topic of entity resolution, and in particular, we'll focus on how we integrate information from multiple sources. Before we answer complex questions about things like how many people live in a congressional district, how many individuals died in an armed conflict, we'll need to combine databases and integrate them in a systematic and accurate way, which is commonly known as record linkage, deduplication, or entity resolution. If you've had STAT 360, I encourage you to check out this course. Now I'll talk about a couple of courses available at the upper level, but they are courses that I don't think you should be afraid of just because of the numbers. And the first is STAT 561, Probabilistic Machine Learning. It's taught by one of our newest professors, Dr. Eric Labor. He'll start in January, but he's taught for a number of years at North Carolina State University. This course is an introduction to concepts in probabilistic machine learning with a focus on discriminative and hierarchical generative models. Topics include directed and undirected graphical models, kernel methods, exact and approximate parameter estimation methods, and structure learning. Prerequisites for the course are just linear algebra and STAT 432. Dr. Labor's great. He has a big lab focused in large part on doing research with undergraduate students. He once assigned his students the task of building an AI system to play Scrabble. And as a fun aside, he's also a professional magician. SAT 613, Statistical Models for Computational Biology, has as prerequisites multivariable calculus, linear algebra, and inference, STAT 432. However, it really goes on to give you a great set of more advanced topics in detail with applications in statistical genetics, genetic epi, functional genomics, and evolutionary genetics and bioinformatics. You'll learn about multiple regression and mixed models, logistic regression and other GLMs, principal components analysis, cluster analysis, data visualization and model checking. 
And the nice thing about this course is that because it is designed for comp bio students, there'll be a nice refresher of statistical inference from both the Bayesian and classical perspectives at the very beginning. It's taught by Professor Ed Iverson, who's conducted extensive statistical research applied to medical and health data, particularly ovarian and breast cancer data. Finally, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to send an email uh, to me, Director of Undergraduate Studies, or to Dr. Joan Durso, who's the Coordinator of Undergraduate Training, Research, and Development in Statistical Science. Thank you.